Hello class. Today's lesson from the little professor is on pronouns, who and whom. The pronouns who and whom can be used to ask questions and to introduce subordinate clauses. A subordinate clause cannot stand alone. The nominative case pronoun who is used as the subject of a clause. For example, when will we know who will get the job? In the clause who will get the job, the pronoun who functions as the subject. In the next example, Nobody knows who chooses the person for the job. In the clause, who chooses the person for the job, again, the pronoun who functions as the subject of that clause. The objective case pronoun whom is used as a direct object, an indirect object of a verb, or as the object of a preposition. For example, from whom did you hear the news? The pronoun whom functions as the object of the preposition from. Whom did you like best? The pronoun whom functions as the direct object of the verb like. In our third example, to whom it may concern, whom is the object of the preposition to. In choosing between who and whom, it will help to change the syntax or the word order of the clause. For example, in the sentence, everyone who, everyone wonders who our new boss is. If you change the syntax or word order, who becomes the subject of the clause, who is our new boss. It also helps to replace the pronoun who with the pronoun he and whom with him. Note how who sounds like he and whom sounds like him. For example, who is our new boss? If you replace who with he, you have the sentence, he is our new boss instead of him is our new boss. In our second example, who is the best player on the team? Again, replace the pronoun who with he to get he is the best player, not him is the best player on the team. Thank you again for watching our video. Please uh, subscribe to our channel.